I'm Kelly Kunkel, a plastic surgeon in Fort Worth, Texas. These are actual implants I removed from a patient during surgery. Let's talk about what happens when breast implants leak. To help you understand what happens when breast implants leak, I'm going to start by showing you implants in both a flat position and upright position, and why it's important that you see them in an upright position. We'll talk about scar tissue that forms internally around every breast implant. I'll also show diagrams of leaking breast implants, both saline and silicone. And finally, we'll show photographs of actual patients who've had leaking either saline or silicone breast implants. This is a photograph of a saline implant flat on the table in my office. Here's a photograph of a silicone implant flat on the table in my office. But that's not what these implants are going to look like in a woman who's standing upright. Here's that same saline implant in an upright position on my table in the office. And here's that silicone implant in an upright position. You'll notice both implants have a number of wrinkles in them when a woman is standing upright. That's actually pretty important, and we're going to come back to that in a little while. I want to talk for a second about scar tissue that forms around an implant. Any implant that's in a body, whether it's a breast implant or a sliver or a pacemaker, your body is going to say, I was not born with that thing. It's going to form some scar tissue around that to isolate that thing from your body. So here's that silicone implant, and I've drawn an exaggerated scar tissue response around that implant. In reality, the scar tissue that forms is much smaller and much thinner, much more like this. And you would form similar scar tissue around a saline breast implant. Let's talk a little about the wrinkles in those implants. Those folds are pretty important. If you get two folds rubbing against each other over years and years and years, eventually it's probably going to wear out a little hole. You get a little hole there, and whatever's in the implant is going to leak out through that hole. Here's what happens with saline implants, for instance. With saline implants, you get a little hole, a little tear, the saline leaks out, and initially that saline is contained within the scar tissue, which we call a capsule, but the capsule is very permeable to saline. Saline just goes through the capsule, the body absorbs it, and it just goes away. The breast implant goes completely flat. Silicone implants are the same, but a little bit different. You get a little hole, the silicone leaks out, the capsule is not as permeable to silicone, so most of the time, the majority of the time, almost every time, the silicone remains confined within that scar tissue capsule, as shown here. Sometimes what will happen is you'll get a little bulge. That scar tissue will bulge a little bit, but the silicone remains contained within the scar tissue. That's something that maybe you would feel, or it might even show up on an ultrasound or a mammogram, for instance. Sometimes that thin layer of scar tissue becomes very thick. The body recognizes there's something going on and it throws in more inflammation and makes that scar tissue thicker. So those are two ways that you might notice if you have a ruptured, leaking silicone implant. With saline, you know it because the breast went flat. With silicone, you might know it because you feel a little bulge or a mammogram picks up a little bulge, or that implant has become really firm. Now that you know what's going on with the implants when the implants leak, let's take a look at real people and see how that looks on them. Let's start with saline. This 58-year-old had her breast implants for 15 years before her left side leaked. She had hers for 11 years before the left implant leaked. The 67-year-old had hers for 19 years before the right breast implant leaked. She had hers for 14 years before her left implant leaked. Here's a more extreme example. This 59-year-old had hers for 6 years before her left implant leaked. You can imagine that sometimes this might be a little difficult to camouflage in clothing. Now let's take a look at what happens with silicone implants. When a silicone implant leaks, you might not notice it like in this 58-year-old woman who had her implants for 32 years before a leak was discovered in her left breast implant. Leaks were discovered in both of the implants of the 64-year-old after 40 years. You could develop thickening of the internal scar tissue like we talked about. In that case, the shape of the breast may change, as in this 47-year-old whose right implant leaked after 10 years. 
It's easier to camouflage that than with a ruptured saline implant. Here's a 49-year-old whose left implant leaked after 13 years, and you can see it's kind of easy to camouflage for a while. Here's a more extreme example of capsular contracture than the thickening of that scar tissue. This 76-year-old woman had her implants 45 years before a leak was detected on the right side. Hopefully now you have a better idea of what happens when a breast implant leaks. If you're interested in breast augmentation, learning about breast implants, or if you have breast implants, maybe one has a leak, or you might have some other question, we would love to see you in our Fort Worth office. Give us a call. The images, diagrams, and photographs shown in this video are for educational purposes only. While all breast implants will eventually wear out, each woman will have her own individual experience and that will be different from the experience of someone else.